So hello my friends, Devon Lennox here, Photography PX. In today's video, we'll cover the main highlight features and do an overview of Insta360's 1X. Do know you can find timestamps and links in the description down below, as well as the pinned comment. And also know this is not a sponsored video. Let's get started. Released in the fall 2020, Insta360's 1X2 comes to market to refine a fan favorite. Its predecessor, the 1X released two years prior, was quite a hit, and it was arguably a pivotal release to separate the company against rivals. In 2018, the 1X came out the gates swinging with a complete redesign and massive improvements, and now entering its third generation, the X2 aims to continue the legacy left by its predecessor. But on paper, it only provides modest software improvements. Instead, it offers a fresh new design, now with a handy touchscreen, and IPX8 ceiling, all ready to compete with GoPro's Hero Max. Physically, it maintains a similar overarching design as its predecessor, and at first glance, it indeed carries its predecessor's basic footprint. But Insta360 has made several notable upgrades this go-round. Let's cover these. Firstly, they've equipped the camera with an improved plastic housing with squared-off corners and a rubberized grip on its outskirts. They've also made the device slightly beefier, now weighing 5.3 ounces or 150 grams rather than only 115 grams. This represents a 30% increase in weight, but the device now boasts an IPX8 rating, letting it survive 10 meter depths without a case. And this becomes a key selling feature over its predecessor, which required a dive case for such capabilities. But crucially, Insta360 has improved the built-in LED screen, which is now 40% larger than before. With this change, you can now navigate various settings or frame and monitor shots in 360 in real time, so it's unlikely you'll miss moments by not connecting a smartphone. Lastly, they've added four onboard stereo microphones capable of capturing 360 degree ambisonic sound. These microphones also have wind reduction, but otherwise the device follows a largely similar design as the original One X. Beyond the physical design changes though, much of the improvements come as new features to the One X companion app. And some of these features are currently exclusive to this lineup. You'll connect to the app using the device's Wi-Fi hotspot, where Bluetooth initiates the pairing process. Like the original model, connecting is entirely pain-free and straightforward. It gives you access to all of Insta360's most advanced software features. You can view the footage, add keyframes, adjust exposure, color, add filters, stitch, use object tracking, and do much more through the app. And the app itself is well designed and easy enough to navigate. Seasoned users will also see a wealth of manual controls and customization, but there's plenty of tutorials and examples for newcomers too. Here's a full list of the features that are available in the app. It has bullet time version 3, clone trail, multi-view, steady cam, fly through, freeze frame, deep track 2.0, a auto frame feature, automatic horizon leveling and horizon lock, time shift, shot lab, and reframing. From a camera standpoint though, this camera features the identical camera configuration from its predecessor, and its video capabilities are largely unchanged. With that, it still has dual 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensors and 200 degree f2.0 fisheye lenses, and combined these create 18 megapixel images or 5.7K videos up to 30 frames per second. It also shoots 4K 50 frames per second and 3K 100 frames per second, all to the MP4 or INSV formats with H.264 compression at 100 megabits per second. It does, however, offer the newer H.265 codec, which produces higher quality videos with less compression. Otherwise, it outputs still images to JPEG or DNG RAW for external editing. It also offers a built-in HDR mode, Insta Panorama, the Color Plus mode, and a log profile. For battery, this camera features a brand new 1630 milliamp hour battery attached directly to the battery door itself. This change provides a 55% increase in longevity over its predecessor's 1200 milliamp hour battery by comparison. Now users can expect up to 80 minutes of continuous video recording rather than 60. Otherwise, it features some bonuses included. These include it supports live streaming to compatible platforms. It can act as a 360 degree webcam for remote meetings 
it has Apple Watch control, it has a GPS enabled stats mode, it has voice control, it has the aqua vision mode, and it has quick capture. In the end, Insta360's One X2 refines their already class leading and fan favorite product with the features that creators needed most. It ups the line with better battery life, refined handling, a touchscreen display, and superior app functionality. Sure, it's slightly disappointing to see the identical camera setup for a second go round, and yes, it's not the cheapest option for this style of content, but even so, it holds its own and it delivers solid image quality and the most robust feature set in the entire class. So as it stands, it continues its predecessor's legacy and remains the closest ideal 360 degree camera yet. And it's a solid option to create the unique angles that only this camera style offers, all without needing a drone or full-blown camera crew in the process. So there you have it, my friends. There are the highlights in the overview of Insta360's One X2. For more information on the One X2, check out our website, photographypx.com. And there you will see a full detailed written review, as well as other reviews that may be of interest to you. You can also look at the pinned comment in the description down below, and I'll take you right to the full review as well. I've been your host, Devon Lennox. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found the contents of today's video insightful and it added value to you. If you're new here, please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Also, leave us a like and a comment in the description down below. Let us know if we overlook something or we missed something that we covered in today's video. I've been your host, Devon Lennox, photography. <laughs>